Is that an ice cream cone on there? No, no, that's peanut butter. It's not peanut butter and apples, you guys. Shut up. That's peanut butter. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Varner from Survivor 2, the Australian Outback. I'm from North Carolina and I absolutely abhor peanut butter. If you watched, you remember, I jumped off a pole in the Outback for a handful of that crap just so I could eat. And I want you to vote for me so I can redeem myself. <laughs> I will not jump off a pole. My feet will bleed for standing there for a month before I give in to something like that. I got screwed over by a chick with a big mouth. Thank you, Kimmy. I got a rule against me that I got one vote. It counted against me in the event of a tie. They threw that rule away because it screwed good people. Thank you, Deb, with two Bs for voting for me. I deserve a second chance. I promise you that I will play this thing hard. I will play it fun. I will play it evil. I will play it interesting. I promise. I will also play it with purpose because my mom has breast cancer. It's so important for me to be able to help her and to help our family to get that redemption, to give myself the second chance. It's for more than me. It's for my entire family. So vote for me. There's a vote somewhere. And you know what? I speak llama too. Morgan, Drake, your past has come back to hunt you. Come on in, guys. Voted out, return now as a third tribe. Revenge, baby. All about revenge. If Lil goes to the bad guys, we're in serious trouble. Do you want to vote with the Morgans? I don't it's know. It's important to us. I have not being... totally decided yet. And, I, and that's all I can say. I have not totally decided yet. Can you let me know before? Remember I asked you to let me know before? And you didn't? Seventh person voted out of the tribe. Andrew. I'm Andrew Savage, Survivor Pearl Islands. I love Survivor. Survivor is one of the greatest shows in the history of television. It certainly has the greatest fans, the most loyal fans. Survivor Pearl Islands, I was living my personal dream, the adventure of a lifetime, and the outcast twist came and, and bit me in the butt. But the only way for me to rid my self for this pain, this outcast twist pain, is to get back in the show and pour my entire heart and soul into the game that I love. Put me back on the show, I will give it a thousand percent, I will give it every ounce that I possibly have to win at all costs. So please, please give me a second chance. I was going to the rocks today and I saw this thing just like that and it was, it was just, I was like wow, but that reminded me of my Blackberry. So, I grabbed it, and uh, I've just been playing with it. Hey, back there. I'm communicating with people, not on this island. Shane Powers, I was on season 12, uh, Panama, Exile Island. My iconic moment for me was when I dropped to my knees and I saw my kid on day 32. I was really, because uh, I missed him a lot uh, for the world. I don't know if it was showing uh, the nurse my nuts. Uh, I don't know if it was typing on a piece of wood and calling it my Blackberry. I don't, I, I just know that uh, I had a very organic, awesome experience on it. And here's the deal. It's been 10 years. Some of you don't know who I am. Some of you do and you're speed dialing right now. Get him on, get him on, get him on. He might kill somebody, get him on. You have the opportunity, it's up to you to decide whether I get on the show. So get to the thing. I don't know what they do. I don't know if you have to log in, uh, get an app. Whatever it is you gotta do, just hit the thing and vote me on and we're gonna have fun. I think America knows I deserve a second chance. I do, I do. I'm not sweating it. America, you'll put me back on. You will. I gotta quit smoking. All right. The hidden immunity idol. It's not found here, but it's hidden beneath a rock. It belong in the Panamanian jungle. Break the bottle and retrieve the hidden talisman. <laughs> this talisman can be used to keep you safe from the vote of tribal council. Up to and through the final four. 
Hi, I'm Terry Dietz from season 12 of Survivor, Panama, Exile Island. The first Exile Island with the first real hidden immunity idol. You know, over the past nine years, there hasn't been a week that hasn't gone by where I have thought about Survivor. At 2020 hindsight, how I could have played the game better, how I could have finished the challenge better. It's what's driven me to do a lot of things in my life as far as trying to stay in shape as a 56-year-old, thinking that maybe uh, someday I'd be back here. I'm going to go back and prove that 10 years later, I can go back and be the same guy as a challenge hog on there. But what you didn't see out there was why I need to deserve to come back to build the strategy, to build the, the social game. I want to go back and prove to you that I'm still the competitive guy that's going to make that happen, not only for myself, but for my tribe members. So I need your vote to get back on the show, and I'm willing to do anything I need to do to get back there and win Survivor 31. JT has definitely emerged as our tribe leader. He's like no one I would have ever met back at home. He's the Alabama country boy. He is Tom Sawyer, and I am the uh, angsty city boy. He might just be seducing me with his pretty country ways, but uh, I'm smitten. What kind of night are you? I was thinking about fishing and we'll take him Steven and I come from different walks of life. I mean, he's definitely a city boy. And I'm the South Alabama cattle farmer. But we get along really well, so we have a good friendship. I'm going to become the greatest spear fisherman that has ever existed. <laughs> My name is Steven Fishback. I'm from Survivor Token Chains, the Brazilian Highlands. I was the nerdy city kid, and I was with JT, the sweet, charming country boy. And the two of us, we, we teamed up on day one, and we made it all the way to day 39. But when we got to the final tribal council, while I had played a really strong strategic game, I had a total meltdown, and he destroyed me at the end. The only time that uh, in a final two, someone has received zero votes. Since that time, I have been studying and writing about survivor strategy as part of my people.com blog. For every single episode, I've given out a fishy award, and uh, this time, I want to win the fishy awards. So please vote for me. I have been thinking about this game, studying about this game, writing about this game for six years, and and I am really, really excited to play this game. I have an idea. I'm going to give you the necklace tonight. You know, I win the immunity. I immediately think I'm going to give it to Ozzy tonight. You can go through this game honorably. And if you're a turncoat, you got no place in my tribe. You can say that right now by voting off Cocker. Jim, you have the immunity necklace. As you know, you can assign it to somebody else or keep it for yourself. I'm going to keep it tonight. My name is Jim Rice from Survivor South Pacific. I have been a fan of Survivor since season one, episode one, and I was fortunate enough to get to play the game that I absolutely love. Uh, I was voted off 1,363 days ago, and I have thought about the game every single day since. I thought about what I did wrong. I thought about what I could have done differently. Now I'm getting a chance to play again, and I am ready for any scenario that comes at me. I have tactics that I can't wait to implement. I'm looking for redemption. I'm looking for a chance to play the game that I never got a chance to play last time. And I know that the people who I'm playing against are gonna be watching because I'm gonna go watch their videos. So I can't say everything that I'm going to do on the island, but vote for me and I will show you what I'm going to do, and it will be unlike anything you've seen on Survivor in the past. Thank you very much. Please vote for me, I do need your help. Troy Zan knocks out his third target in a row. Yes! Troy yes! Zan wins immunity! Yes, 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 yes! Don't with me. <laughs> That's like nine people on the jury that you saw. You just bought one round, that's it. I'm going to continue like that. I'm competitive. Let's go then. All right. It. Hi, guys. Uh, my name's Troy Robertson, otherwise known as Troy Zan. And I played on season 24, One World in Samoa. And you probably remember me best as I'm the guy who yelled, like, this is my island. You know, don't F with me. And it was like, you know, Troy Zan versus everyone. And, and you know, for TV, it was great. But for me, it killed my game. And so this time, you know, I'm gonna play a little bit different. I know this time I'm gonna play with my, my head instead of my heart. 
I'm still just as passionate and uh, uh, today as I was four years ago. I mean, there, I don't miss a season of watching. I, every day that goes by, I think about Survivor. If they said to me, like, you know, we're not playing for any money this time, Troy, I'd be like, fine, that's all I need. I'm playing to win. I want to win this season. That's all I'm thinking about. I'm hoping for your vote. I know you guys are really, really excited to see some really good players back. I hope I'm one of them, and I'm gonna see you soon. Let's do this thing. Harris oh giving his brother another shot. Start clean. Go on your own call now. Venus oh. trying to take advantage. Harris oh. has Venus, and he's in. Harris defeats his older brother. Venus. Hey America, my name is Vetus, and you might remember me from Survivor Blood vs. Water. I'm a huge fan of this show, and when I got to go on Survivor, it was a lifelong dream to be able to compete with everybody else for the million bucks. I didn't win it, and I got to play with my little brother. What was cool about that was I love my brother, and we bonded so hard, and we've been really tight ever since then. But I want to play my own game. I want to show you that I'm not just Aris's brother. I'm Vetus, and you haven't quite seen all of me yet. You put me on the show, and you're going to see some things you haven't seen before. I'm a student of this game, and I'm going to lay it all out there. Since I've been on Survivor, I've had a kid. I have a one-year-old son now, and it's been such a blessing. I love my little boy, but I've learned a lot from that. I think I have just a little bit more patience and a little bit more ability to stay calm amidst troubled waters. My life has been about second chances up until this point. You know, I haven't done everything right the first time. You know, I've recovered from addiction. I recovered from a year in prison when I was a teenager. And, and I've turned around to make my life great. Same thing could be said for Survivor. Give me another shot, and I'm going to turn it around. I'm not just going to make it far. I'm going to make it to the end. So get me on there, and I promise it's going to be a fun time.